What is going on everyone? It's your guy Cole Jackson back here on Road Graders and today we are going to be diving into Justin Matabike in this matchup against the Houston Texans taking a look at everything he did as we continue to see him carry this contract year incredible season career year for him into the postseason he collected seven pressures in this game was absolutely critical to shutting down CJ Stroud and the Houston Texans offense if you guys are looking forward to this breakdown if you're fired up about all the things justin matapique is doing do me a favor hit that like button it means a lot to me hit subscribe if you're new here i'm going to be bringing videos like this all week every week until the ravens hoist that lombardi and drop a comment down below below and let me know what you guys think about this question what the hell is he gonna cost because it's starting to get scary uh as he continues to stack these games but uh you know you just got to enjoy the ride while we have him as a baltimore raven if he's no longer a raven it's gonna suck uh but let's enjoy it while we have it so let's dive into this get into some of the film we're gonna start here uh, you got matabike lined up as a four tech over top of tunsil he's gonna work against juice scruggs and just work the swim move uh, I don't think he would have been credited with a pressure on this, but I mean, if this ball is not coming out quick, this is such a cool, clean win uh, by Justin Matabike and just continues to show, uh, you know, that ability to win in a variety of ways. You catch Scruggs get, trying to get out there quick or trying to essentially quick set um, on a one step uh, pass or pass block. And he just absolutely swims them clean win inside gets contact into Stroud incomplete pass that was uh, the first third down where Darby came up and made a play on the ball uh, in the first quarter get into the second one here this is again coming against Shaq Mason again the ball's out quick it was hard to get uh, too many pressures or too many um, you know sack opportunities just with how fast Stroud got rid of the ball but you know making sure he's working fast getting that ball out um, they get a completion on this one but you're gonna see the little double hand swipe so you're going to see as mason's hands come up you're going to get the right hand and left hand working together they're going to swipe down on this outside hand right there as they do that it takes away any sort of leverage point and then you get a little rip up from that right hand right there and what really does this for him is you can see it right here his ability to drive this inside foot into the ground and bend that ankle flexibility right there as he turns the corner what happens a lot with a guy like michael pierce who doesn't have quite the agility obviously with the size he is is you just get him working a little bit too far upfield but matabike is one of those rare pass rushers where he's able to drive his feet into the ground and turn the corner so you know he's pretty far into the pocket at this point but he's able to turn and work himself directly into cj stroud you get a little shot on him so you know you always want to say hit that quarterback as much as humanly possible uh, here you get him lined up across from george fant as essentially a five tech um here and you're gonna get him coming inside against shaq mason and jadavion Clowney is gonna come off the edge just absolutely barreling down and here you're gonna get the nice little quick pursuit so jadavion Clowney draws the initial pressure as he comes around it forces stroud to step up um, but you know, some quarterbacks can take advantage of this, especially a guy like Patrick Mahomes, who they'll be seeing this weekend. So having a guy with the athletic ability of Matt BK to hit that pursuit lane and force that ball out, also get a hit on the quarterback thrown out of bounds. So just getting the ball out, but obviously Jadavion Clowney drawing that initial pressure, but just nice to see Matt BK close, close with quickness, all that good stuff. Get him inside against Scruggs again. And he just runs him over. Um, just love this rep physical football. So Scruggs is going to take a deep set on this. You see him working his feet. Watch how choppy those steps are right off the snap. Chop, chop, chop. Uh, so as he's doing that, he's trying to engage his anchor. Matabike, hat inside, is just going to drive through that inside lane and just drive him into the ground. And doing so, Stroud's feeling that pressure. He's looking to his right, so he's not necessarily seeing this. He's feeling it, and it forces the scramble out to that side. And there's Jones trying to get that, uh, that pursuit lane. And again, another ball thrown out of bounds. So there's that pressure coming into, you know, even though it's not a sack, it's not a QB hit, that pressure forces a positive play for the defense. And then what you get here from Matabike, um, he's going to loop. You're going to get Clowney coming in um, on the stunt. So Matabike has got to be patient. And then again, that quickness, that athletic ability to get out. And again, another hit on the quarterback, driving Stroud into the ground and an incomplete pass. Um, so just another play made by uh, Matabike and with an assist from Jadavion Clowney 
And then we get into one more here from Matabike. And love this play because he actually starts this as the knife man in a stunt. So he's going to work inside. And he basically wants to pick the center. So he wants to work inside, pick here, and then allow Jones to wrap. So as he gets into that territory, creates that lane for Jones. Jones is going to wrap around. But what Matabike does here is he just works through that double team, splits it, and ends up actually pushing the pocket all the way to make Stroud scramble out here. And there's that athletic ability from Jones. Once again, another incomplete pass for us. So uh, just honestly, he dominated the D-line in this game in a game where Joe Tooney may not play. I personally think he's going to play. Uh, but this is going to be a huge spot for Matt Abike to be dominant again and uh, you know impose his will on the Kansas City Chiefs defense. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about his game, about this matchup with the Chiefs. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the breakdown. And as always, hit subscribe if you're new here. Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. Peace out, everyone.